Yo, what up, man? What are you guys, wow. What are you guys dealing with today? Yo, I'm out, oh, that's kind of cool. That's reflection, oh, that's nice. It's a reflection off the brick wall. As you can see, I'm out here um, in the sun. I thought I was gonna be a nice shot like this, but I'm realizing the reflection off the wall here is even better. So, we'll do it like this. Whereas, you know, I'm out here in the industries where I grew up skating, oddly enough. And, one second. It's been a while since I've been back here. I literally started skateboarding and rollerblading in this area. And it's basically like factories or businesses work. And there's a lot of like little things to skate, curbs and drops and gaps and stuff like that. And even, it's been like 20 years since I've been like back here to stop and chill like this. And even the smell of it back here reminds me of my childhood. It's kind of crazy. Um, so anyways, what, what I'm doing there, I'm just actually going for a skate. I have my electric skateboard over there. I'm trying to get my coat off. Stay. And it's warm here. So, I'm out here and I'm just like, toying with my uh, my gear and I'm realizing you know on this part of this pandemic here is that I have to really take vlogging more seriously in the next 10 the next 10 years so you know we've already done 10 here 10 years here on YouTube and you know my channel has done really well but it's not like some people you see where they're on the air for they're only on YouTube for a year and they get a million subs um, but that doesn't really matter anyways. It's not good to compare yourself to other people. I truly appreciate everybody that's joined the Not Nation over the years and the people that I've connected with. Like the whole journey has been amazing and I'm always happy with this content even reaching just one person. As long as it reaches somebody or a group of people and they get some feedback that's good from it and they get some knowledge from it or some sort of connection to it, then that's all that this is really being done for. So. Today in the news, I like I said, I'm just trying to be a YouTuber. And it's like, in my head, I'm just like, I'm trying to be a YouTuber. It's like, I already am a YouTuber, you know? Essentially, I'm just trying, I mean, essentially, I'm just doing my job. And it's hard to do your job sometimes, especially when it's your own business, you know? Um, sometimes when people run a business, it can be hard to do the work that needs to be done to make that business successful. So, this is me doing my part, part of the part, of the bigger picture. I was gonna sit here and read a script that I had written to you guys. Uh, I was I was gonna come out here and, see that's, fu that's the fucked up thing about this pandemic thing, I just licked my finger there and I'm out in public. So I have a cut on there, you can't see it, but the whole thing of trying not to touch your face out in public, like I'm, I'm keeping that in mind. I'm trying to keep that in mind as best as I can. And uh, sometimes it's hard to remember that, but I'm pretty aware of it. Uh, anyways, what I was saying was uh, about YouTube, just keep on making some videos. I was gonna come here and write a script for you guys, uh, which I've written, written a few. I did one the other day on the dreadlock culture. So that's gonna be kind of like my new format, but they're gonna get better progressively, add more content underneath the script and start writing funnier scripts or more knowledgeable scripts. You know, pretty much just gonna stop trying to freestyle my videos all the time. And uh, even though freestyling is good, you know, I started freestyling my videos mainly because of Lil Wayne, to be honest. Um, I remember I watched a documentary on him called The Carter and it showed him in the studio and he was literally just making up his songs on the spot, recording one line at a time until he has a song. And that was awesome. I was like, wow, he just freestyles it. So I, I wanted to do that with my video work and inspired this channel, this channel's growth. So I'm just kind of rambling. This is not even gonna be a great video or anything. I'm just here talking as part of the vlog. 
But I need to film some B-roll for you guys as well to make this vlog even better. So let's try and do some of that and um, enjoy the rest of the video. actually one of the first skate spots right here we used to ride this it's kind of like a kicker and then uh, there's like a drop over here and I would literally ollie off that thing just like this I'll do it right now for you guys on my electric skateboard idea it's a little harder to, it's a little weird to do it on an electric longboard but we'd ollie off that thing So that's what basically uh, I've been brought up doing around here, skating. So this is a little bit of my hood here. And um, that's about it for this vlog. I don't even really know what I'm filming for. I'm just filming, having fun. And that's the thing about vlogging. It's just about having fun. Don't be worried about making money or don't be worried about gaining an audience or anything. Just have fun with it, like me. I guess that really equates to knowing how to use a camera or not though, so maybe it's all about learning how to use c -c cameras first. Probably the coolest part about this board is that it has like a little automatic function. I guess it's called uh, I guess it's called cruise control. And I can film while like while I ride. It's a little dangerous, yeah I know, but It's all for the vlog. You can see how windy it is. My hair won't stay up. Do I look beautiful? I'm gonna go right to the gym parking lot here real quick.